excitement at the Commercials Club in Dublin on a memorable and breezy day. 450 children and 400 parents with all roads leading to the Camogie pitch. For the first national Hurl With Me event after six weeks of coaching in 24 clubs all over the country. Sponsored by the National Dairy Council. This morning it's just great atmosphere around. It's great to see all the parents getting involved as well, um, like working as a team with their daughters and uh, everyone is just jumping around. It's so much fun and it's just a great atmosphere to be here and it's great to be able to sponsor something like this. Um, for our NDC programme it's great because like, we're promoting physical activity and a healthy lifestyle so it's great to get involved in such a nice campaign as Her With Me. Children got to watch and support their parents, some of whom are new to the game thanks to the Hurl With Me programme. I follow GA, I've done football, but I've never played hurling. My club never done hurling. And, you know, when the kids came to Dalvin, they are mainly just a hurling club and they idolise the sport, they live for it. So when the Hurl With Me programme come up, you know, they were always at me, go out, come on, mommy, come on. I'm like, I've never held a hurl in my life. I'm not going to, you know, do this with you because I could be teaching them something wrong when the club is teaching them something else. So. When the programme started, it was absolutely brilliant. We were showing all the skills and, you know, we can participate with the kids now. You know, it's brilliant. So they've done a great job and I think the Hurt Me programme is brilliant. How successful has the scheme been in your club? Oh, fantastic. Like, we've had an average about maybe between 15 and 20 parents out every Friday evening and they've worked it in sync with the training. So kids go to training and we go and learn how to play Hurley and Camogie. So... It works well. More importantly, go and enjoy yourselves and be role models. And remember, this is a trial for our intermediate team, so don't let us down. What has this scheme done for your club and for Camogie and your club? Well, we had 26 players here from 7 to 10, which is fantastic. But what it's really done is got the parents involved and got them back out with their kids so that if they're getting lessons, you know, at, at training or whatever that the parents can play and like we had about 15 parents that actually participated today whereas when it all started we thought there might have only been a few I love the effort you made with the hoodies with her with me on it yeah absolutely um, like we got a bit of sponsorship for, for the kids hoodies and then the parents decided sure look we'd all go for it and, and look the same so it's really good from a bonding you know parent daughter sort of situation as well that we look the same hopefully something like this will actually grow the game you know and grow it from the grassroots up which is what you need Capmore is a great club, it's a massive club and the Hurl With Me ran for six weeks and it was trying to get some parents to come along and help out and they did, uh, every single one from under 8s and under 10s, parents came with them, it was just a fantastic six weeks and the parents really loved it as well, the parents, it didn't matter whether it was raining or what kind of weather was out, the parents still turned up, it was fantastic. The song is, like, I think we made it up and it's an Oma song, like, if people don't know us, like, we sing the song in front of them and then it gets them to know us. Looking at the games today now, who was the more competitive and who were the better players? Was it the daughters or was it the parents? Now, be honest. <sighs> well, that's a hard one. Um, I don't know. I, I would say both of them were... Were play, have played really well today. That's very diplomatic. Well, let me put it like this. Have you been surprised at how well the parents were able to play? Yeah, we've, been, we've all been actually really surprised and how well, because the parents have only been at it a couple of weeks now and it's been really good and they've enjoyed it. Others weren't so impressed by the efforts of their parents. Getting to see Mammy play in Ireland, making a show of herself. <laughs> ah, she's been playing well, hasn't she? No. <laughs> the host club ensured everything went smoothly on the day, and they too have benefited from the programme. Yeah, well, we would have had, we, Camogie only started here five, six years ago. After 20 years break, there was an adult team here. So it, it has been kind of 
you know, it was difficult enough at the beginning. We kind of started off, I think there was 20 girls. We now have 150 girls here. But because of this, it was great to be able to go out and promote it in the area and say we're running this programme. So people did get involved, you know, and they embraced the whole thing of it. And it was great to see the adults out there today playing. It was absolutely brilliant, a brilliant occasion, you know, for, for Camogie in general. So it's great. Well done, girls. I suppose it's hugely important that uh, clubs get more parents involved. Um, I suppose as you travel around the countryside, that's the first thing clubs will say is, you know, it's the same people doing the same jobs in clubs and how do we get more parents involved? So I suppose through this initiative, um, this is a great way that you get them involved. They get to see the skills, play themselves, and also to see how a club is run. And then hopefully the clubs will hold on to these people um, for the lifetime of their daughter's involvement and beyond that. And going forward from here, you know, you can't just let this rest. This is too good to, to let go. What's next? Yeah, it's 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 a really great initiative, and uh, like I suppose our foresight for the future now would be that like maybe that we could run a certain amount of uh, programs in each province, run a provincial day then for those particular clubs um, in each of the provinces, and then maybe have an overall national day then after that. So you're kind of growing it every year. So I suppose this year we've 24 in total, and then what you'd hope is that you'd at least have 12 in each province next year, um, grow it from there. And I suppose the other side of it is if you can give the tools to clubs to run this themselves, you know, um, what, what we did this year was we provided a tutor to each of these clubs for six weeks um, and they went in and they, they coached parents. But any club that has a good coach can tutor this and, and do this with their own parents and I suppose it's to give clubs the tool um, to use this initiative to their advantage.